Salam everyone. So in this lesson, we are now starting Surah An Nazirat, which is the second surah of the thirtieth juz. So we are going quite fast, and I hope you're revising in the meantime when we don't have lesson uploads. And just keep practicing, and you'll get there. I know it's a bit difficult, but again, don't lose hope. We're very close. You know, this is actually quite difficult. So if you can do this, then you are well on your way to understanding the meaning of the rest of the Quran as well. So keep at it and keep us in your prayers. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Aiza kunna izaman izaman nakhira. Aiza is like or Iza is I keep forgetting these little words. Is that is when? Either. It's a question. Is it when? When, yeah, when in a question form. Yeah, it will be like, is it when we become Izaman is like bones? Mm. And Nakhira is like, I'm assuming like uh, de decomposed. Yeah, yeah. So uh, kunna, once we are, so this kunna, when we've become uh, bones that are decayed or disintegrated. So it's time. They're, they're questioning that on the day of judgment? No, no, no. As in, we, this is what they say now. So this is about like the present life now. Oh, I guess I just got confused because on the above, like it was talking about like when, when there will be earthquakes and all the eyes would be. Yeah, no, no. So. You know, this, uh, from this verse, now we're back to the current. The present. Because okay. Yakuna is like they say. They say, mm -hmm. and then, you know, are we going to go back to being alive after we have become decayed bones? Then, Berevan? They say til tilke tilke ayatul. <laughs> Wait, right? Tilke. Wait, recite? No. Tilke. These are. Well, this is. This is. Okay, this is when. Kara. Then, uh, do you remember? Then was also then. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. okay. Or yeah, also if. Uh, even. No, no. It, I don't remember. I mean, it could be depending on context. Okay. So all who say they say this, then kara tun khasira. Kara, kara tun. Kiraman, no. Kara, kara. I don't think we've done it before. Um, it means a return. Return, okay. Khasir. It's like someone is transgressing or something. Like mm -hmm. then you're like in khasir, you khasir, khasir. No, no? I'm confusing it with um, transgressing was like something bad about you. <laughs> yeah, but very fancy. Yeah, if you transgress, then you're in. Hussars and locks. Right? There you go. Thank you. So, so what he was said. Okay. Yeah, so the actual word means loss or losing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Tamil. That would be a return, like a return of loss. So basically, they're saying, like, oh, if we're just going to come back, then that's a loss. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, um, then only so I can guess this by context as in but there is only one like one blast or one like loud sound mm -hmm. but I've not I can't think of where I've seen Zajra be used in the same context but, 
Zajrat and Wahid. Because I'm thinking in like Surah Yasin, where this phrase is used, it's not Zajr, there's something else that's used. Yeah. Is it the, the cry? It, it is in Surah. No, it's in Surah Safat. And yeah, Zajr. Muzdajr. So yeah, that's fine, right? So verily it will only be here. It will be a zajrat wahida, one blast, and then kuma fa idahum bisahira. and so then um they bisahira. Bisahira. Sahir? And Sahar. Sahar's name. Sahar. But Wait. isn't that like wind? Or Sahar? I always confuse Sahar as in like morning mm. and Sahar as in magic. Yeah, this one is morning. Sahar. Because that one is Sihir with, with the Ha. Mm. This Ha means morning. Oh, yeah. So, فَإِذَاهُمْ بِالسَّاهِرَةِ They will be in the daylight. So, what it's implying is that suddenly they will be alive and they will be upon the Earth's surface, like back out in daylight. Hmm. Well, what does that mean? Uh, as in when there's the blast, then they will be resurrected. They will be back out in the daylight and they'll be awakened. I see. So here, Bisahir, Bisahir means awakened. Yeah, they're translating it as awakened, but it's that. It's same... like I was confused because it says Bisahir. Bird usually means with, right? Yeah, or in. Bisahir. Bisahir. They will be in the Sahira. So out in the open, out in the daylight, and also. Like it's their sahar because they're waking up as well, you know. So both of these are wrapped into this. Cool, good job, uh, Bedivan. Your turn. Hal ataka hadith Musa. Um. Okay, hadith Musa. Is story of Musa. Hell attack her. Attack her. Attack her from. Yeah. Tilka. No. no. That's yeah. Yati and Utu and Yutun. So that's the attack. The Kabe at the end is Yutun Yutu Zakat Giving, giving. So, giving, but also it was that if something comes somewhere, then it's also if something is brought, if. yeah, Yutu as well. So, Hal Ataka has there come to you, Ataka, this Ka meaning you, has there come to you the story of Musa? Okay. Eba? Um, wait, sorry, going back. The word I was looking for for Zajra was Sayha. Like Sayhat and Wahida. Zajra and Wahida. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, going back. Um, Sayha is Ned cry or shriek, and then Zajra would be like blast. Okay. Um, Bismillahirrahim. If Nadahu Rabbuhu Bil Wadil Muqaddasi Tua. Um, if Nadahu, when, ooh, when something his Lord in the sacred valley of Tua, but I don't know what Nadahu is. Well, so Nida, is Nida from like calling? Yes. And okay. like Munadi, Munadi, no. Munadi, yeah. Mm. Yunadi. <clears throat> so yeah, so is Nadahu Rabbuhu when, when his Lord called to him. Tua. Sacred Valley of Tua uh Koma. Is Hab Uzhab Ila Firauna in Nahu Tua uh go to Fir'aun. Indeed he is Tua. Is it from 
like a like a oh. wait wait this is is it from bali no toga yeah toga um, this was the this was the word i couldn't remember the the what bedivan was saying <laughs> the transgression baga is when you've transgressed baga Mm. Is that the word that we have come across before? Mm. Ibtaha, ibtaha. Ibtaha. I ha- I do not remember, but it just makes sense that he is like mm. in a hudaha, he is yeah. He is doing wrong. Uh then Birvan Bakul Hellaka ila ila tazaka and say has you have you has you have you ila and tara to tazaka zakat no actually yeah it's the same um, same word so have you uh what does zakat like zakat means in arabic like <laughs> giving or like to purify to purify yeah so to, uh, we what form have we done this in mm, no. i think actually there's zakat and then you looked up the meaning and it meant purifying and we were all so fascinated that zakat actually means purifying because then it purifies your wealth and, then and as- it purifies you of greed mm. Mm. And so- the, the word that name azka means the pure one so f- this is an interesting way so it's a way of saying will you purify but there's so many words right halaka ila antazaka so hal is like you know the question form and then halaka is like is it for you that you would purify so it's such a gentle way of asking it's like would you be willing to do that or would you consider it like halaka do you think that's that's suitable for you is that for you could you think about purifying mm-hmm. so yeah would you purify it? but but does hell always mean is just a question is not yeah. like and you said ila isn't it too it can also be yeah. referring to so halaka ila is it for you that you may ila you know you would do that to go towards that or something like that um okay one more um wa ahdiyaka ila rabbika fa takhsha um wa ahdiyaka and i will guide you ila rabbika to your lord um so so be afraid so i will guide you to your lord so so fear him yeah so that you would fear him so it's that same sentence so would you be able to pure would you be willing to purify yourself and that i guide you so that you uh become more mindful of him and all and also mindfulness and this is to feel around like the worst the worst like <laughs> let me guide you to you and let me like that he gives him permission to guide him mm-hmm. so, yeah. that's so like it just reminds me when we sometimes as muslims because you know when we're disagreeing the how we talk to each other and this is like Fir'aun, Allah Azawajal is commanding Musa A.S. to talk in this gentle way. Yeah. There's the other verse as well, like, which says, <laughs> we talk to Fir'aun qawlan layyinan, like, which means like the gentlest, softest speech in the kindest way. Allah. And so, sometimes we are like almost killing each other with our words. It's, yeah. it's like there's so much things we need to understand mm-hmm. as an ummah. Subhanallah. 
Cool. All right, we shall continue the next bit on Tuesday, inshallah. Yes. Inshallah. Yep. Good job. This was tough, so revise it a little bit. It's kind of complicated. Yeah, this was really <laughs> my brain crashed. <laughs> cool. Reboot it then. All right. Thank you. So that was it for this lesson. I hope you found that useful. Please do like this if you found it helpful and leave a comment. It makes my day and it also really helps the channel. So, Jazakallah Khair and see you in another video.